on my way to the U.S. This is the St. John River. Oh, there we go. Some boats. A little foggy out. There's a good view of the river. Big bridge up there. All right, going over the St. John River into Fredericton, New Brunswick. So I'm in Maine and I am on my way north and I stopped in the uh, store down there and they showed me a little model of Pluto, which is about a marble size. And it's part of a map of the solar system. Uh, done by the University of Maine. So between here and 40 miles north will be uh, the sun. So I'm going to start doing that drive and stop at each of the planets on the way. I like how cute this town is. I'm in Hulton or Holton, not exactly sure how to pronounce it. But there's the store I was in. It's cute. Old theater. I'm still exploring the scale model of the solar system. I'm 33 miles from the sun. I'm in Pluto, current day location. And there it is up on the pole with its moon orbiting around it. And I'd say Pluto is probably the size of this uh, bloom on a wild rose. Pretty cool. All right, I'm 1.3 miles closer to the sun. Current location, Neptune. And you can see we went from a little, or I'll say a big marble, to actually a good sized planet. Very cool. All right, I just left Neptune and I have 11 miles to go to get to Uranus. All right. I've traveled 11 miles closer to the sun and now I'm in Uranus. So this is kind of a big blue ball. All right, time to return to the spaceship and find the next planet. All right, we've traveled another 11 miles, this time to Saturn, and it's the best one yet. Check that out. <laughs> Fantastic. Well, that's interesting so this is showing the path that i'm taking and the scale is one to 93 million getting rained on all right we're four and a half miles closer to the sun i was wondering what these distant poles were but it occurred to me that they're the moons so here we are largest planet jupiter All right, we're 2.7 miles closer to the sun. This one is Ceres, a dwarf planet, asteroid. I thought when I drove up, it was missing, but it's just the size of a uh, marble. All right, we traveled just a little over a mile to get to Mars. Pretty small. All right, there is four tenths of a mile from Mars to Earth. And we're one mile to the sun. Very cool. Four tenths more of a mile toward the sun, and we're at Venus. All right, we're only a third of a mile away from the sun, and we're at Mercury. All right, I made it to the University of Maine at Presque Isle, and the little brochure said the sun would be at the flagpole. And sure enough, there's a little bitty golden globe up there. However, the brochure also says that 
the sun would be 598 inches so that's close to 50 foot in diameter and that's not 50 foot in diameter and I couldn't find any signs anywhere to say that this is the sun so I'm not really sure I have to google it and see if I can figure out where it is all right I looked it up on the website and it said the south end of Folsom Hall was to represent the sun so I can see this on the ground I'm sure it's part of that and if I look inside there's also a an arch which I'm sure represents the sun because they're not gonna put a 50 foot diameter model out here and there should be a sign inside yeah here we go Pretty neat. I saw a couple of interesting things on the way in. There's a snowy owl. And some Atlantic bottlenose dolphins. As well as another snowy owl. Petrosaurus. Let's keep going up. Our birds, dinosaurs. All right, let's see. Oh, there's a well bump. Look at this leatherback turtle. Holy smokes. Hammerhead shark. It was cool to explore the solar system. Time to head out of here.